Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. I'm up here at the tent for the 2021 Minnesota Fishing Opener. Off you guys watched uh, kind of part one of this video like I always do every year. Over on Joe and Zach Survival, uh, Melissa was... Oh wow, this is the end of the journal. I think I will open up a new one. I know, wow. <laughs> uh, hold on. Well, like I was saying, uh, Melissa, yesterday she wasn't feeling really well and then she had to work late so she didn't come up yesterday she thinks she's going to come up today but i haven't talked to her yet so right now it's 6 45 in the morning and uh i'm sure she'll be up around 7 or 7 30 and let me know hopefully she'll be coming up and uh either way we're going to get some fishing done today the lake is really nice this morning it's supposed to be winds uh out of the south east i think south southeast uh, about eight miles an hour is what they're saying, so it shouldn't get too bad. When I got the new journals, they're not exactly the same. I could not buy these. This has been a little bit smaller ruled than this one is. But this one here starts with, this is the first entry in, the, in journal number four up at the tent. And this was started on October 20th of 2018. So... I will do the same thing here. I already caught one little northern this morning. I put that out about 15 minutes ago with a little minnow on there. Threw him back. Almost hate to start the boat. It's so nice and peaceful and calm this morning. I had a small one get on and then I tried to get the camera going and it uh, got off but it, I would have let him go anyway but this is always the place that I cast the first time on opener right in here by this beaver house
this. It's not a bad northern. I'm going to throw him back right now though. I don't want to fill out. You know, I'm going to wait till Melissa gets here, but that's not a bad fish. Good eating size, but it could use a little bit more weight. And if it would have been about another pound and a half bigger, I would have kept it for sure. Some shot of the tent reflection on the lake. I've never seen that before. You want another snack?
well, Melissa just called and she's not going to come up. It's 9.30 and she just woke up and she still feels under the weather. So I'm going to go back out there fishing. I'm still going to keep it uh, one video on Joe and Zach and one on Northern Seclusion because I've already started this one. And uh, now I wish I would have kept that fish because I, uh, two is my limit today. And um, I, I bet that would have been a nice fish to keep. But I figured Melissa was coming up so we would do a lot more fishing because I don't do a ton of fishing when I'm here. I'll, I like to sit in that deer stand and sit in that duck blind, but fishing, I like to go out for a little bit, and if they're biting, they're biting. If they're not, they're not. But with Melissa, I can be out there for, you know, a lot longer. And we catch more fish. They are just not biting right now. I think I got one little hit back a ways, but uh, I'm not even sure if that was a hit or if I bounced on a weed or something. I have those uh, pork chops left over from last night. I microwaved a baked potato. I should have made two of them out of fire yesterday, but I didn't. I'm gonna drive down uh, here, down kind of by where George goes in deer hunting. It's been many years since I used to do a video series uh, called Abandoned and Forgotten. And I'd go to some of these old campsites up here that, you know, I haven't been maintained or used. I, I don't know, I don't know for how long. But anyway, this one here, I've, I've done a video on it before. And the first time Melissa ever came up here from Louisiana, we spent four days at the tent. And we went over and looked at this campsite and she found this big chunk of chaga, which was the first chaga I had been looking that uh, I had ever seen. I had never found it. Anyway, I thought I'm gonna walk in there today just to see what it looks like all these years later. I remember there was a tree, there it is. A tree with a metal tag on it. It's grown right into the tree now. That's where the old outhouse was. All it is is a box like that, and then it would have a top on it with a hole cut.
trying to find the old cooking grate. And it's a cute little place, but I thought for sure that it still had a cooking grate here. There it is. It's been a lot of years since that thing was used. Wonder how many people stood on this rock and cast it out there. I've never fished in this little body of water. It's so tiny that I always figure it freezes out in the winter. But it's got some pretty steep hills around it. It could be a deep little hole of water and there could be a few fish in here. We'll walk back now, but I want to try to find that tree that had the chaga on it that Melissa found. I always remember that was her first time up here and straight out of Louisiana and the whole time we're walking back here she's constantly looking down at the ground and walking slow and I couldn't figure it out and she was so trained to look down for snakes that that's what she was doing and we don't ever look for snakes here. <laughs> There's just no snakes that are poison. We don't even think about it. <laughs> That's the spot where it was. I must have had to go back to my truck and get a ladder and put it up there to get it. It's almost all grown over now. Not sure if you can see it, but right there where that Y comes together, that's chaga growing. Looks like right here, there might have been some at one time that it got harvested, hard to say. But that over there is not. There's some chaga up here. There's some right there. That's Chaga right there. I think I see some over here too. Right there, below that branch. Right there. I'll remember where that's at. Maybe when I come up here another time, I'll grab some of it. It's weird because when you find a piece, oh crap, oh well, you end up finding more of it and other areas, there'll be none at all. For those of you that are asking yourself right now, what the heck is chaga? Uh, it's a fungus that grows on birch trees and you can make it like a medicinal tea out of it. It's really highly sought after in some places, but up here, it doesn't take a whole lot to find it. That's where I go into my fire deer stand.
I've seen a few float planes fly over since I got up here yesterday. I think in about an hour, I don't know, half hour to an hour, I'm going to go out and try fishing one more time before I have to uh, pull the boat up. Tomorrow I'll have to leave pretty early, get back to the farmhouse, have lunch with Melissa, spend a couple hours with her, and then I'm going to have to drive down to my camper for work on Monday. So. It'll be another busy, kind of a busy travel day tomorrow. I think I'll take this SD card and go down and pull the card out of the other camera that we look at all the time up here. And um, I'll bring that up here and just switch it out and then I can get this camera set back out. Somebody skied up. Wonder, let's see. I put it up on the 24th, but then remember Sarah skied out and back a couple of times. And then I suppose the people saw the ski trail. And four days later, they came up. On March 21st, there was a rabbit. <laughs> There's a wolf. I'm pretty sure that's a wolf. Yeah, those are pretty big tracks. That looks like a fox right there. And there's that rabbit. He likes to go back and forth. There's a good picture of the fox. Well, that's about it. Nothing really worth saving on there. I was really hoping that wind would die down. There's a few other places on the lake I'd like to fish, but it hasn't. Yeah, I mean, it's not real windy, but not as calm as I like. Yeah. 
<laughs> I had a little one on there. It was just a little hammer handle. He hit it right at the boat. Would have had to throw him back. Well, I only got one hit, and that was in this bay. I've tried white, I've tried green, I've tried chartreuse in my uh, spinner baits. I've thrown some of my, uh, they're like a Johnson silver minnow, but they look like a daredevil. And I threw a silver one also, nothing. Thought the wind is finally dying down. Maybe I can get into that far bay on the back side and that might be partially calm. Be about the last shot for this time up. chicken. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do the barbecue tonight. I was just going to do a couple of uh, uh, the frozen hamburger patties. That I've got some here that I did the first day uh, tonight for dinner. But then I thought, well, if I do the chuck roast tomorrow evening when I get to the camper, I won't have to cook. Melissa said she's making a bunch of chicken thighs tonight in the oven. Tomorrow we're going to have ribeyes for lunch. So if I do some barbecuing right now, I won't have to cook there for a couple days because Melissa said I can take some of the chicken thighs with me and 
If I have this, I'll be doing good. I think what I'm going to do, I bought, there was, let's see, two, there was like eight of these bone-in country-style pork ribs. I'm going to do two of those and this chuck roast and those potatoes on the grill. And then with the remaining ribs that I have, I'm just going to put those in the freezer here, bring those back to the campground. I also have three pork chops left over. And I'm bringing back my old fire grate that I used to use to cook on up here because I have a fire ring at the campground, so I can actually cook over a fire. I do not have a barbecue there, at least not yet, and I don't know if I'm going to get one. I've got a lot of barbecues, and I'm just not sure yet. If that don't look good, I don't know what does. Let's see if this roast is done. Oh yeah, still red, looks good. Okay, everyone, well, it's almost 10 to 11. Time for bed. Tomorrow morning I'll get things cleaned up. It'll be time to head out.
Good morning, everybody. Just packing things up here, getting ready to head out. I guess I'll take this journal and put it in the fire safe with the other ones. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Had a nice couple of days up here at the tent, getting it all opened up, doing a little bit of fishing. Let the tent season begin. on the next video.